from the cooperative unit of the International Labor Organization. The International Labor Organization is the specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for world of work. From its very beginning, the ILO recognized cooperatives as an important tool to achieve its mission of social justice and decent work. This, this recognition is reflected in its uh, constitution. And in consequence, the ILO established a cooperative service in 1920, which continues to make contributions to the work of the organization to this day. In the past decade, this work has also extended beyond cooperatives uh, to the wider social and solidarity economy enterprise. This is a moment of great disruption. Full or partial lockdown measures have affected more than 5 billion workers around the world. Recent ILO estimates indicate that 436 million enterprises are at risk. Millions of workers around the world are without a job and struggling to sustain themselves and their families. To die from hunger or from the virus is an all too real dilemma for faced by 1.6 billion informal economy workers who constitute half of the world's total workforce of 3.3 billion. Values of solidarity and cooperation are more needed than ever. Historically, such values see a surge in popularity during times of crises, including financial crises, natural disasters, and conflicts. We've seen this in the case of the Argentinian crisis, the global financial uh, and economic crisis, the debt crisis in Greece. Similarly, cooperatives and wider social and solidarity economy organizations have been co key community actors in responding to public health epidemics such as AIDS in Swaziland and in Vietnam the relief and reconstruction efforts after natural disasters in the case of Japan and Australia, and in post-conflict settings like Rwanda and Sri Lanka. In the face of the pandemic and its aftermath, business activities for many cooperatives and wider social and solidarity economy organizations have suffered across sectors. While such, some sectors such as food retail may have seen a surge in business, most others have seen a total stoppage or dwindling of their activity. In order to serve their members and their commu wider communities, many cooperatives in rural and informal economies are having to adapt and innovate in responding to the pandemic and its aftermath. Others struggle to figure out how to access government relief funds in countries where such measures exist. Cooperatives and wider social and solidarity economy organizations are also mobilizing to provide relief for their workers, members, and communities in different aspects of the crisis. Their support ranges from ensuring workplace safety and working conditions and stabilizing supply chains to shifting production toward much needed supplies broadening access to relevant information on COVID-19 and advocating with governments to influence their policies and measures to support their members and communities. Credit unions and financial cooperatives are providing liquidity support to affected micro, small and medium-sized enterprises in countries like Kenya, France, Ethiopia, Italy, Uganda and Canada. They're setting up solidarity funds and crowdfunding initiatives to support local businesses and vulnerable people. Some cooperatives have transformed their products and services uh, to protective equipment, food supplies, and care support. The cooperatives that produce Ayurvedic medicine as part of Self-Employed Women's Association's Cooperative Federation in India have shifted production toward much needed supplies like hand sanitizers and face masks and distributed them for high-risk populations. Producer and consumer cooperatives are among key players playing supply, uh, players keeping supply chains of essential foods and goods moving while also relocalizing production, especially when produce coming from other countries 
uh, are blocked. Agricultural cooperatives and consumer cooperatives have direct supply chains in countries like Japan. Cooperatives and other social and solidarity economy organizations with strong presence in their communities are fulfilling a series of community uh, support functions as well. A range of cooperatives in Italy are helping vulnerable people who cannot go shopping by themselves, including in coordination and partnership with municipalities. Cooperatives in Japan and Korea are providing lunchboxes for disadvantaged elementary school children during school closures. In France, they're producing service vouchers for disadvantaged populations like homeless people for use in affiliated establishments offering hygiene and food services. Health cooperatives, including pharmacy cooperatives, are establishing support funds, distributing protective gear for their members and workers in essential uh, enterprises who are on the front line of the uh, public health crisis. It is the nature of crisis to expose new faults in a system or widen, widen existing ones. Some think uh, a new global order is uh, unfolding. They point toward the rediscovery of the value of social state, especially as it pertains to health, education, and social assistance. This is also a time when, when many people are realizing the need for transformative business practices that do not only care for the economic bottom line, but also about people and the planet. The value of cooperatives is recognized in the immediate response uh, stage. In some countries like Italy and South Korea, they're included in both consultation and implementation processes of government support measures. Their existing infrastructure and networks help understand emerging needs and implement support measures in an effective way. What is important is, even after the crisis, their role in the recovery and transformation of societies and economies is recognized. Toward that end, it will be important for cooperative organizations to disseminate the knowledge on how cooperatives can help with enterprise transformation. For instance, in the case of bankruptcies, supporting worker buyouts of businesses uh, through worker cooperatives. Cooperative Organizations can also share examples of platform cooperatives work. Domestic workers and home care workers in the US have been establishing such cooperatives using online applications. These are essential workers for aging societies, but that also face a deficit of affordable, accessible care services. During these challenging times, we would like to reaffirm our solidarity with the cooperative and wider social and solidarity economy movements around the world. We are convinced that cooperative and other social and solidarity economy organizations will be instrumental beyond the emergency phase and well into the medium to long-term recovery in the affected countries, as we have seen in many other crisis contexts across history. We have all the confidence that their values and principles can guide the transition toward not just a new normal, but a better one. Thank you.